Hi the family, it's me again, Isaac Sariel. A new video, a very short video, we want to talk about the pentatonic scale. Many of you have asked it, maybe a tutorial about the pentatonic scales, which is one of the main scale we use for Congolese rumba, for African music, and for seven music. Very useful, very useful. And I think in my point of view that the pentatonic scale is a good way to start for improvisation and to learning a scale. Learning scales could be worrying you know it could be a little bit fearing you can't be afraid or feel anxious feel the kind of anxiety when it comes to learners case when you need to see the, the diagrams and all those points and you know this type of diagrams it just sometimes just you know make you lose the motivation so i think uh, here is the way for you to learn the pentatonic skill let's do it very simple let's go family So again, let's talk about that with our style, Congolese rumba, African music, African guitar. And uh, again, you know that we're playing very simple chords here, yeah? progression like one, four, five, if you're playing in the key of C, we'll be playing arpeggios with the C major chord, the F major, mainly this shape of F major, you see, and G major that you can play like this or this way, okay, G major. So when you're playing simple progression with these three chords, you have, let's say like you have one, four, five, four, one, which is a deux ton, again, if you don't, remember the lesson about the different progression and how it's called in Congolese Roomba seven terms, you know, in terms we use them. <laughs> Demi-ton, deux ton, trois ton, set set, you have the different and progression. Check the link of this video. Uh, check the link of the video that you can follow. We can follow this lesson and to understand what we're talking about. So if you play your deux ton like this, can easily improvise it and never get lost you know never never go wrong using the pentatonic scale in the key of C so since we're playing the key of C using the pentatonic scale in the key of C would be a good way for you to improvise and a good way for you to start you know to start to do your first step you know learning the major scale you may not learn all the major scale on all the fretboard but at least starting with uh the point in which you know the places you know the chords you know like you know the c major this c major you know from this c major you easily can play you know from this c major you have this this shape right which is a bar chord here with a bar here you have this C you can easily play it, right? That could be like the first note of the pentatonic scale, the second note of the pentatonic scale. Okay, now keep in mind that the pentatonic scale is the kind of um, a shortcut, I could say it's kind of um, uh, a short version, a piece, you know, a small piece of the major scale, because in the major scale, key of c c d e f g a b you have seven notes but in the pentatonic scale you will use only five notes and that would be the c the d the e the g right c d e g and a and then we get back to the c that's your pentatonic scale that's your pentatonic scale five notes picked from the major scale to tonic the second the third the fifth and the sixth c d e g and a now you may not know by heard all the notes of the pentatonic scale in any key but again the seven academy we want to talk about things and to make them very simple you want to give the best approach to learn this to learn those music theory 
stuff you know in the very simple way and in my opinion the best way to learn that is develop your feeling of the music you know to let yourself your ear get used to the sound and in the same time learning shapes learning shapes what i mean by shapes is you know that you have this you know from this this c major the pentatonic scale would be all right so doing that okay that's the beginning so remember that you have this c shape and so from those two shapes you're gonna pick the tonic the d the second right so the tonic the second is not part of the c major chord but at least it's in the, the pentatonic scale so you have c d and e you know the third which is picked from the this shape so you have two three and then you skip to get to the fifth yo one two three five one two three five and again carry on six right which is the a and you end up with the the c again the octave of the c so you have one two three five six and a if you can at least learn that okay that's the first lick I teach to my student which is played from the pentatonic scale and that you can use almost everywhere everywhere like any rhythmic it's a good way for you to start okay but here's the link of the video if you want watch this lick if you can learn this lick you can learn it easily okay but we're talking about learning the Pentatonic scale. So if started from this point, again your let's say that the reference, your reminder is your chord. Your reminder is your chord, your chord position, the C major in this case, your chord position is a reminder to know that you have this, this from this place, you play that, you go there, you go there, right? To Five, six, and then you have it. you have it. Okay, okay. So that could be the first position you learn. And uh, if you're more of improvising, playing lead guitar, maybe the first position you want to learn would be something more would be uh, something more in higher notes. I mean, that could be something played in higher notes, which this could be an option the option of playing from this c major so the same principle remember that that's the c right that could be another shape you, you can learn easily okay again your reference your reference your reminder is your position of the chord the position of the chord okay so you can learn from this one and then progressively uh, trying to learn some other shapes and you remember that in the seven academy what I tell you what I teach you is to for the moment take what you need the most 
focus on what you need the most you may focus on only this part okay you can be focusing only on this part okay that's another shape pick from this C major okay C major inversion of the C major here okay so you can again play from D C remember that C D E and then you skip G A and back to the C okay that's another easy shape easy pattern of the pentatonic scale you can learn so from this one which is a, an inversion a triad uh, mainly used you know often used for seven music okay you remember this shape a triad form used for seven music very useful and from this triad form you can learn the pentatonic scale easily okay you've got it carry on okay you can carry on like this from this form and go up and you have you have your pentatonic scale like one pattern one full pattern of the pentatonic scale get to resolve with the chord why to get used to get your ear used and start to feel you know to start to feel a new way of improvising start uh, to you know to get the habit of the resolving you know tension resolving tension resolution in music which is the principle used for for music mainly you know <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I hope you understand what I'm trying to teach you. Trying to make things gets very simple. Remember, it's all about the shapes and the feeling, okay? The use of it. Understand the use of what you're doing. Understand what is done for. Why it's worth it. For the rest, it's up to you to explore the different chords, different progression, different shapes, different patterns. But we're here to, to share all of that together. Anyway, like every time, don't forget to drop a comment down in the comments below, comment section. I'll be happy to know what you think, what you think of this video. If you've already seen this manner of learning and you know, are trying to give a new approach and trying to give a new way and to make it fit in the new style, I mean a new style maybe for you, seven music, Congolese music, Congolese rumba is completely new, so. Learning with this style could be hmm, pretty innovative. So welcome to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to the newsletter if you want more, if you want like your free lessons, diagrams and the backing track and you know, many stuff. Stay tuned, stick around fam. See you very soon. Here's plays to the seven. <laughs>